I don't usually start my videos this way, but I had to show you guys the before and the after. I logged into the server and stumbled upon this base that had just been raided, but inside, the boxes were loaded. So I sealed up the base and I took it over for the time being. There was also an area in the back with a camper van and it had a few loadouts. And so I collected all the loot and put it in one location in the base. And I continued searching for a place that I could call my home. And eventually I came across this river and it was definitely cozy, but there were already massive bases around it and a fence that nearly cut right through. And so I sat there gazing out into the sunset. And that's when I decided to abandon everything that I had at that point and simply switch servers. So here we are on a brand new server without a single thing to our name. The strangest feeling of all was a similar sunset was setting here and it gave me a sense of hope. Maybe, just maybe, on a server that's usually crowded with no team player limits, maybe I might have a chance at building something cozy to spend my time in. And as the sun disappeared into the horizon, I began to make my voyage across the land in search of that perfect spot. The spawn area and the area near outpost were extremely crowded, people farming around every single corner. So I kept my head down and I stayed to the shadows, simply marching my way as far as I could. I loved the vibe of the desert on the previous server, so I headed in that direction. This map was huge, and the further I got away from outpost, the more open the land was, and that was exactly what I wanted. The palm trees felt like paradise, and I really considered living here. But in the distance, I could see clans making claim to the area. And a spot like this is an ideal farming ground. It was only a matter of time before all these trees were gone. So I kept going, looking for a place tucked away where I could build a cozy base and not be too worried about an overnight raid. And that's when I came across this mountainous region. At this point, there was no one out here. And I really liked the idea of building a base high up off the ground, tucked away on a cliffside. And this was the perfect spot. So I started building. But it seemed as though no matter where I went, Trouble had a way of finding me, so I stayed quiet for a while.
after collecting some wood, I got right back to building. the quicker I upgraded and at this point I was ready for the second floor somewhat of a rock base and where I was situated the views were perfect as I tried to avoid stress, sometimes it still found its way in, but I didn't let that hold me back. I continued farming with a goal in mind. Then one day, I found this base. It was a fellow solo player, and so I greeted him and went on my way. But later that day, I came back across the base to see the progress that he had made. Clearly, this was a new player, and I felt bad for him. Out of curiosity, I took a look around the base, and it seemed cool. I didn't loot his body, because maybe he was coming back. I just simply shut the door and left. I needed to shift my attention because it was time to start decorating the base. 
and I didn't want to have to stress running through land, constantly getting mowed down while farming barrels or doing monuments. This time, I wanted to hit the water, the chillest, most relaxing way to collect scrap. Usually out there, I don't encounter many people, but every wipe is different. I was slowly collecting loot. Every time the sun would rise, I'd grab my boat and I'd farm the ocean. Each time, bringing home loot and scrap. like this can be very challenging and that's why I like to build another floor an area with no windows fairly hidden a place where I can keep my important things So far, the wipe was going smoothly. I had a few encounters, but nothing major. I was able to get a tier one down with a significant amount of loot and scrap. My base was mostly put together. And although it was not cozy yet, I had ideas in mind to make it cozy. And it was only a matter of time before I had the resources to do that. But I knew one thing for sure. 
The views from my cliffside were stunning. And when night fell and everything went dark, I crafted a grill and I started cooking the meat that I had. Days like this were beautiful, and so I took advantage of the fog, grabbed a hatchet, and did some farming. With my storage set up in the loft area, I began to move my loot up there, a place that felt safer, out of sight and out of mind. This is why I tend to avoid situations like this, because most of the time, in moments like this, things don't tend to go my way. My base was almost done, at least from the outside. Now that I had the structure in place, I could shift my attention to decorating the inside. Those of you that have been watching for a while will recognize this base. It's not the first time I've built it, and I truly think it captures the cozy vibe. So not only have I built it before, but I'll definitely be building it again. 
At this point, I was going to do something risky, and in order to get it done, I had to go at night. The journey was long, but it was worth it, so stay tuned for part 2 to see where the journey takes us next. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thanks to my YouTube members. Dreamers, stay chill. You've been watching an Orange Dream production.